Let's see how we can install PySpark in Visual Studio Code and how we can run some code using it. So first open your command prompt and check your Python version. If you don't have Python installed or if you don't have pip installed, check the links in the description and you'll see how you can do that. So as you can see, we have Python 3.11 installed and let's check our pip version. Again, if you don't have pip installed, install it from the link in the description below. Okay, so now we have both of these installed. Let's install PySpark. Now after we've installed PySpark, we will open Visual Studio Code and we will check if we can use PySpark in that or not. As you can see, PySpark is installed. Now we can exit this. Now make sure you remember the version that we have here. It's Python 3.11.4. And now let's open Visual Studio Code. Now you can create open folder if you already have existing folder for your project or you can create a new file. So I'll just create a new file. And hit control S and then you can choose Python file here. Let's call it v.py. Now here we can import PySpark. If I write import PySpark, as you can see there is no error and PySpark is imported and if you want to check by running this, just write hello and you can run this using start, uh, click on this run without debugging for now. And now you might not be able to run this successfully. I'll show you how you can fix that if you have an error. So as you can see, PySpark is, is imported and we have this message here. But in case you are facing some errors like PySpark cannot be imported or something like that, what you can check is go down here and check your Python version. So as you can remember, we had installed PySpark in Python 3.11.4 and this is what is selected here. If you have some other Python version like let's say Python 3.10 and then you will not be able to run this because we installed PySpark is Python in Python 3.11. So if you try to run this again, you will get an error. So as you can see, no module name PySpark is showing here because we use Python 3.10, not Python 3.11. So you need to use the same Python version in which you had installed PySpark. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.